Hey y'all, what's going on? It's me again. I know y'all probably like, what? Why don't this woman get a damn life? What the hell is wrong with her? Why is she always making video responses to our shit? First of all, I love y'all show, but that ain't, that's not the only reason why. It's just that, you know, finding things on YouTube with decent, somewhat decent topics or whatever, when I run across them, I'll be like, okay, I can get into this. Um, and I just want to say, hey, and I wanted to, I always get mixed up. I think, Mikhail, I appreciate you giving me the shout out. And my name is Much Love from Kentucky. Um, and then Scorpion, hey, how you doing? Um, let me just, I'm going to skip over the Beyonce stuff because I feel like if I get my opinion about Beyonce and Kelly and all of that, I don't have a, an opinion on that one way or the other and I'm going to skip over the other shit. I just want to get right into them basketball hoes. I made a video about them. And let me just say, Scorpions, your sister, when I tell you, she just feels like somebody I might, you know what I'm saying, that I could chill with because she just seems to be so real and say it like it is. Just as you all do too. But them basketball bitches, let me just tell you, them hoes be trying to go in and be like, oh, I'm better than this when they was talking about the little young girl that's dancing, you know, this is like two episodes back or whatever, that dances for Miami. And they like, oh, look at her. Look what she's doing. And you know, like she's some damn gold digging groupie. Can I get some of these bitches a memo and let these hoes know that they used to be motherfucking uh, groupies? Gold digging bitches who just happen to get lucky enough to snag them one, I bust a hole in a condom and get a fucking baby. Don't even let me get to talking about that because I'm so over that bitch who was with a motherfucker for 10 years. How you gonna give a bitch 10 years? And you mean to tell me that motherfucker don't know whether he want to marry you or not? Bitch, you the gold digging bitch. You the dumb bitch. And now she want to be all bitter. Excuse me. She want to be all fucking bitter and shit and go to that woman's house. First of all, they wouldn't have been having no long motherfucking drawn out conversation with my husband. Bitch, we're here to eat and our conversation should be amongst us. Yeah, hi, how you doing? Oh, I love the steak or whatever. But all that looks like you questioning him and shit. I'd have punched that bitch in the face and I bet you we'd have sat it off at my motherfucking table and guess what? And my man about me another one. Anyway, I know I done got all off subject. But I had to go to that because it just made me think about that and I'm sick of them hoes they can take them motherfuckers off of her real fucking quick and then that bitch who's still married that her husband treats her like crap that bitch got a funky raggedy ass attitude too and I was so happy when I seen the one episode when the chick was start laughing and was like you so fake you are fake bitch I hope you look at much love's video you a fake bitch now with that being said I do like Royce. She does need to calm it down on, you know, what she's doing. But I do like her. I just hate that the baby is so naive. Now, I would have never let a bitch take me nowhere and try to buy me some of them ugly ass rags she was trying to throw her in. I'd have been like, fuck you, bitch. What would make you think I need you to dress me? Address your motherfucking husband and don't worry about what the fuck I take out of my closet in the morning. I uh, take off in the evening. Or uh, who I'm taking it off with before, you know. So anyway, see, there I go. Okay, let me get into Chili real quick, because she's crazy as hell. First off, I don't want nobody to be offended by what... Where is my damn lighter? Excuse me, y'all. I'm sorry. I don't want anybody to be offended by what I'm going to say, so let me do this disclaimer right now. And I think I already said that my son's gay. Well, I have twins, and both of them is gay, and I'm well-versed in that community. I'm not, but they are, and I love my kids to pieces. With that being said, let me say this real fucking quick. What I'm going to need Chili to stop doing is being in love with gay men. Because as far as I'm concerned, Usher's, his ass need to come out the closet. And her baby daddy, who, he ain't. Can somebody say trade in the tea room, please? Snap that bitch out of it. And then the one that she thinks she want to be with, she don't, he don't give a fuck about her. So she want all of this magnificent ass shit. She want every motherfucking thing plus a dick of gold. I don't think so. Ooh. Well, I said it. I don't edit, so it is what it is with me. I just don't get it. She needs to sit her ass down. Does she not see? Yes, yeah, she was cute, but you know, and all that. But, uh, girl, you ain't getting no younger. I'm just, I don't get where she's going with this. Now, I like the chicks that's, that's helping her. 
But I'm gonna need for her to get her wigs together. Sometimes she'll have a decent wig on, sometimes she don't. Now, I'm gonna just go to Brandy since we're talking about wigs. I'm gonna need for Brandy to get her damn lace front from, you know, I'm gonna need her lace front and her eyebrows to get a fucking divorce. What the fuck? Can somebody please tell that baby to fix her damn lace front? What the hell? And I did see where she went. I think it was with Kelly Rock. One of them. Somebody she went out to eat with and her hair was banging. And I know she was probably looking over at her like, is this bitch ill? Now, I know this bitch is ill. Now, she got to have some more change. Surely she could have got her a nice lace front and had the motherfucker professionally put on. Did that bitch put that damn, them damn wigs on in the car while they was going down a bumpy ass hill? Will somebody get that bitch a memo? You do not lay your shit down here and you do not expose the glue. Hello? Woo. Anyway, with that being said, I just love y'all videos to pieces. I'm not going to talk about Ray J. Because I'm not so sure he ain't trade either, but that's a heart of another color. But I just wanted to get in here and say that I, I really do, and I know I'm, I'm, I'm 40 years old, going to be 41 if God bless me. But I wanted to let y'all know that even I watch your show and I appreciate what you all do. I really do. I'm able to follow it and not feel like I'm overwhelmed by the hip-hop nation or whatever the fuck. You know what I'm saying? It's a variety of shit, and I do like that. Variety is the spice of life, and I do like that. I love y'all blog TV and your YouTube videos and just y'all little thing y'all got going. So y'all keep doing what y'all doing and all of that. And um, I'm going to need y'all to come back and talk about Miss Sierra again. Could we please, would you? Cause I like her new video, but I'm just I'm not sure what she's giving me. But yeah, can y'all do that? Anyway, I'm out of here. Much love from Kentucky to y'all. Bye.